Hey everyone, Dan here, Sure PT. Uh, this weekend uh, I'm doing a lot of bow hunting. I don't expect to use the Sherpa a whole heck of a lot. But last time when I actually opened up the bung plugs, it seemed like there was an excessive amount of oil. So just to make sure that I didn't, uh, you know, not put the oil filter on or whatever, I'm just gonna quickly check the oil. So I'm gonna show you what's all involved with that. Unfortunately, I didn't record me taking off all the Kadura fabric and the panels, but you are going to see it in fast motion with me putting them back on again. But there is the engine. As you're looking at the engine right now, if you look in the center of it, there's a small little ring there, right there. Uh, you pull that out, and from there, you can find out how much oil there is. And then you just pull out the dipstick here. See how she looks. She is beautiful. No issues at all. So what was happening? Um, it's really difficult to be able to see that spot. I'm not going to be able to show you put it back in. So I was happy that everything was okay, all was good. Here's me just putting everything back together again. Again, first thing you do is put on that plate. Then you put on those clamps. There's two in the front, two in the back, two on each side. Then you put that Kadura fabric on top. It absolutely does a wonderful job in muffling that noise of that engine. Next thing you're going to see here is me bow hunting. Uh, I saw three different bucks. All of them were a decent size. That's probably about a two-and-a-half-year-old. Um, it was chasing a doe that's right in front. Uh, date today is 10-23, so October 23rd. This is in the morning, probably about, I don't know, 7.30 in the morning. A little bit too small for me, but uh, a nice looking deer as it is. Just thought I'd share that one. I saw a total of three different bucks. They get bigger as you go along. Um, none of them smelled me, none of them seen me. The temperature in the morning was absolutely gorgeous. It was probably about 28 degrees and no wind. Very quiet. Uh, I saw a total, I think, of 11 different deer. Here that doe is going to come just in the picture. I was videoing that with my camera in the vertical mode and I kind of did a little bit of cropping for you to be able to see it a little bit better. Um, well, it is what it is. He didn't really push her that much. He kind of gave up after this, kind of went his own way. And then I would say probably about a half hour, somewhere around that, a little bit later, another buck enters the picture. And this one is a little bit larger. My guess this next one is probably about three and a half years old. A little bit wider rack. And he, too, I think, was smelling that doe. You can kind of see it by his tail. It's kind of cool. And the third buck was definitely the biggest buck. My guess is he's probably between 150 and 160 inches, somewhere around there. Uh, he snuck up behind me, and I did have a shot. It is early in the season. I'm taking a week off next week. Uh, he'd be a nice deer to shoot, but next year he will look one hell of a lot better. Well, I hope the next time that we are together, I am actually hauling out a great big monster deer uh, with the Sherp in the Sherp trailer. But this morning was not the day, but I had an absolutely great time. Absolutely great time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you thought of it. Uh, and we'll be sharpening soon. Take care.